You can laugh at Christian rock, but you're only making God angrier. And Christ is only going to turn the other cheek so much at your smart-ass comments before he slaps you upside your head. So how did all this Jesus pop come to pass? A nun from a Belgian religious order, Sister Janine Decker, took the name The Singing Nun and hit number one in the USA in 1963 with Dominique. She was a controversial nun. Another of her songs was Glory Be to God for the Golden Pill, a pro-birth control anthem. Australia had its own guitar strumming nun. In 1974, Sister Janet Mead hit number three in Australia and number four in America with the Lord's Prayer. Now, if you think the Christian record industry consists of little more than a couple of Bible story cassettes at the Catholic bookshop, you're way off the mark. In the year 2000, Christian music accounted for 7% of sales in the American music industry. That's 747 million US dollars. Australia also has its finger in the pie, or loaf if you will. Queensland's newsboys don't make it to video hits too often, but they always make it to the BRW rich list. In 1999, they grossed more than ACDC and Silverchair combined. All the major labels from Sony to Virgin EMI have Christian music divisions. There's DC Talk with Jesus Freak. There's Super Chick and their pro abstinence song, Barlow Girls. Then there's Jump 5 with Spinning Around, going for the Christian S Club 7 angle. And cute boy band, Plus One, with God is in this place. Clearly the Christians are onto a good thing. So why aren't other religious denominations getting with the program? I decided to get my own boy band together, Jewtown, with their debut single, Down to Jewtown. Me once this cap up on my skull I see the Bible said to put one there So I won't go to hell And people step up to me And they tell me eat this big But if the who's ain't split then it ain't legit And that's how I choose to live In a world of kind believers Who drive on Saturday Don't forget it's our day of rest So when the right past just turn away I'm not some big old rabbi In a black hat and a gown James, time to get on down. I'm going down, 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 down to you sound. What I gotta do now? Down to you sound. I'm going down, 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 down to you sound. Gotta be true now. Head down to you sound. Run and ask me why you read from right to left I see it's not that complicated, it's the Hebrew alphabet And Christians wanna ask me how you different to our people I see I like Bible number one, but I will, will not touch the sequel yeah, yeah. Yeah. Passover week, you be careful with wheat. It's bread on leaven 24 7. Down, 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 down. Could Jewtown cut it in the marketplace? I sent a demo tape, a video clip, and a bio to big American Christian label Floodgate Records, who have acts like East West, Rita Springer, and Denison Mars. The president of the label, Tim Tabor, agreed to give Jewtown some feedback. So you got the Jewtown video, what did you think? Um. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Where did you find Jewtown? 
They're quite big in the Australian underground Jewish scene. Uh huh. You must get tons of demos there at Floodgate, though. How did Jewtown measure up? You know, sonically, I thought they were on the right track, and the look and the dance moves and whatever were fine. You know, I don't think it's up to like the in sync level of perfection, but um, they sure didn't suck. So, from an A and R perspective, how do you think Jewtown could improve? If Jewtown had some really loud guitars, I mean, they might cross over to the whole corn, you know, Rage Against the Machine audience. Now, the religious differences won't be a problem with getting a record deal with Floodgate, I assume? Where we're at, it'd have to be Jesus is God. But isn't it the same God? Um, yeah, there's, there's an argument for that. Obviously, the Jewish faith prior to Jesus was the same God. Um, I think the difference is that Christians accept Christ as you know, the savior. There's lots of Christians with different beliefs. Um, like, is everyone allowed on your label? Yeah, we're open to whatever Christians. Um, we don't have to be a specific denomination. Um, what, what about Catholics? Catholics might be allowed on my label. Um, we don't have any Catholics yet, but come on Catholics, send in your demo tapes. What about Jehovah's Witnesses or Mormons or Christian Science Reading Room people? And personally, I don't really consider Jehovah's Witnesses or Mormons or I don't know what else you said, but um, as Christians, I think there's some fundamental differences. So no, we wouldn't be signing those um, artists on our label. What if you can converted? Yeah, I mean, then I, I believe they would be accepted in the Christian market if that's something that they personally wanted to do. Obviously, you wouldn't want to do that for a record deal. Because I can talk to the guys. I mean, I'm not sure how important the whole Jewish thing is to them anyway. Well, like, if they were, like, Jews that had accepted Jesus Christ as their personal savior, like, there's Jewish people that have accepted Christ. I mean, yeah, I mean, that'd be a, a, a step in the right direction to doing it, a Christian record deal. So unless I convert, you don't see much of a future for Jewtown? Maybe it appeals to, like, a narrow demographic of the 13-year-old Jewish kids, but they're going to be hard to have some widespread appeal. So no Jews, no Mormons, but Catholics maybe? Yeah, so the vibe I'm getting is you're not interested in signing Jewtown. No, we would not consider taking on Jewtown. Um, obviously, there's the uh, faith barrier to overcome, but... Um, they're just not something that I'm looking to sign right now. I'm going down, 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 down. Catholics can send their demos to Floodgate Records, 14151 Newport Avenue, Suite 203, Tustin, California, zip code 92780.